So we're going to do David Beckham's new haircut today. So I'm going to talk you through how to achieve that nice short crop, uh, what points to uh, start the blend, how short the actual haircut itself is on top, how to get the texture in there and also how to style it as well. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to start on the top and work down from the back and sides, but I'm going to start um, basically finger length on the top. So my fingers are pretty much going to be sitting flat on the scalp and I'm going to chop into it and create loads of texture in as well. So I'm not this isn't going to be sort of like a, t a top heavy uh, haircut at all. This is going to be quite a, a nice short, almost like a grown out shaved head with the back and sides tighter, basically. Um, towards the fringe, it's going to be a similar length, so we're not going to be leaving the fringe longer. We're not looking for like a quiff or a pompadour, we're looking for almost like that kind of, uh, as though it has literally just grown out and you've, you've just put a bit of product in your head. That's the look we're going for today. So, I'm going to start on the top, I'm going to wait to the front, and then we'll blend that right down through the back and sides. It's going to probably be about a number one on the back and sides, I'd say, uh, in length, with this nice short crop on them back and sides. David Beckham's is quite a, a rounded finish, it's not a, the traditional sort of square barber finish, it's slightly rounder, so I'm going to kind of play on that as well. Maybe match it up more so for this head shape, more than copying it to a T. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to start with my number two, and this is going to start the baseline for where my blend is going to be. But what I'm going to do on this one is I'm basically going to use his, the shape of his head and the round of his head to blend with. I'm going to use this and just slightly round this up and come up and off the head, and this is what's going to give that slightly rounded effect of what David Beckham's got. I'm going to come up and off like this. got quite a tricky neckline, so anyone with nape whales, as they're called, or anything that goes kind of inwards or different kind of directions through the back, I'd always suggest a, a taper. I wouldn't do any squaring off, because if the hairline goes to one side and you try and square it off, it'll always be round at one side and whatnot. So I'd always taper, fade, whatever you want to call it. Uh, all it means is just a, it's just getting rid of unwanted, unnecessary length, and leaving more length down here. It's, go it's going to look untidy really quickly, so I'm going to taper this down just into a very low zero, just down the very edges to make it symmetrical. So obviously it comes all the way down here and comes up there. What I do is I square it off with this for symmetry. And then this way, when we go up to the highest point, it allows me to fade it uh, evenly, more than trying to fade as it is now, because I'll be, I'll be down here trying to fade this bit when there's nothing there. So. What I've noticed about David Beckham, this is for years now, he never seems to have his hair lined out, but I think with this neckline, it's probably best to line it out, so I'm going to put uh, a little bit of detail just around the ears and around the neck. I just think this particular, this particular kind of um, edging needs doing really for this haircut. But on his, it's usually not lined out. Just keep it nice and soft through the temple, 
I don't have two sharp lines coming through here. This beard, if you take a look at the, the hot overall image, his beard isn't all edged and sharp. So it'll be a bit daft kind of putting a really sharp line here and then having a messy beard. So I'm going to keep it quite natural around there, but then obviously nice and tidy around the ears. But again, nothing too high or too, uh, too looped or anything. Just going to basically tidy up the neckline. Just going to dry it through. Again, this is such a simple low maintenance haircut, but it's quite effective as well. So you can dry it through. Oh, blast it through more than dry. Cold air. And then I'm going to style it up. So, again, I'm going to use a bit of your clay. This is a really good one for this super matte finish. You don't need a lot. Haircuts cut itself, you know, this is a hair that you don't even really need product in as well if you don't want to. Make it really, really work it in. And then, just break it through the hair. You know, just like that, you know. Like a blog like that, you know. Try it there, it's quite a hard thing. And there is my variation of David Beckham's nice short crop texture crop. So, what I did was um, cut the top first. I cut it down to finger length, or uh, well, maybe just above finger length. Uh, again, we're looking for this kind of crop. So, again, when we say crop, I mean quite short, um, almost like this, so it's a good overgrown shaved head, basically. Um, Worked it all the way around, followed the head shape round. We didn't do any squareness or nothing like that, we just followed the head shape right round. I done a little bit of point cut texture, just more so at the roots than through my fingers, so I couldn't really reach it. But that just creates a little bit more internal texture. It really, really helps you mess it up as well. And then we worked down into a number one back inside. But what we did was we used the number two as our guide, as our baseline, and we used his head shape to blend it. So we weren't sort of stopping here and then trying to create a square look. We were literally using the round of his head and went up and off to create that kind of higher, tighter finish. Then with his neckline, we taped it in. It's got quite a, a tricky neckline, two nape whales either side. So what I did was I taped up the neck to uh, get rid of any unwanted hair that was kind of growing a little bit lower down. And then add a little bit of clay to the top and start it through. Very simple, very effective. One of my favourite haircuts at the moment. Anyone who wants it, just ask them for a, um, essentially a short back and sides, really. Um, plastic short back and sides, bit of texture on top. We call it a, a texture crop, just because kind of a, more, of a, uh, more of an industry term. But um, if you want to ask some just for like short back and sides, finger length on top, loads of texture. Simple as that. If you, if you say a fade, everyone thinks it goes like down to zero, but that's not always the term. Fades are another term for blends. So yeah, I'd say a high one fade. 